people of the internet, or friends, or acquaintances, or whoever else is watching this video, thank you. My name is Mel Olivares, and I'm making this video on behalf of my friends at Team Phoenicia, uh, asking you to participate in an incredible undertaking. We're going to land something we made on the moon. And we're going to deposit a lunar rover, and we're going to take live video and data feed of the whole thing, so that A, we can prove that we're doing it, but more importantly, B, so that we don't crash while we're doing it, <laughs> which is good. Um, yes, the moon. Uh, the one in the sky, the one you see at night if it's dark and there's no clouds, Earth's moon, um, we're going to land on that moon. Uh, and that's the plan. And we're going to try and win an international competition by doing it faster than anybody else. So please sit through this short video with us. Uh, we would really appreciate it because we only have until the end of this month to raise the entry fee for this competition. And uh, in exchange, we're offering some amazing once-in-a-lifetime opportunities uh, for your help in this experiment in microfunding. So what's the story? The story is, three years ago, Google announced their Google Lunar X Prize Challenge, also known as Moon 2.0 in some circles. Uh, if you haven't heard of this, you should go look it up on the internet. You should go Google it. You can Google Lunar X Prize. Uh, I'm sure it'll be the first page that turns up because they probably have really good uh, SEO. Uh, anyway, the Google Lunar X Prize is a, 20, is a race with a $20 million grand prize for the first privately funded, that means not government funded, team to launch, land, and explore the surface of the moon and send back live video footage, data footage, and uh, pictures uh, to prove that they did it. So that's really exciting. And that's three years ago that they announced it. Coincidentally, three years ago, William Baird, uh, a New Mexican uh, supercomputer specialist, started thinking about landing on the moon. Uh, so he founded Team Phoenicia uh, and, and got to work. Over the last three years, Team Phoenicia has grown to include an impressive array of specialists just the kind of people you need to pull something like this off. William Baird, who I told you about earlier, who founded the team, used to work at Los Alamos National Lab. He spent time at the White Sands Missile Range High Energy Laser System Test Facility. It's awesome. And he currently works at the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory's National High Energy Research Scientific Computing Center. The rest of our team is equally impressive. We have a PhD from MIT in mechanical engineering spearheading the rover project. Uh, our telemetry specialist is, used to work at the NASA Propulsion Lab, and we have space quality machinists building everything. Uh, one of our machinists was in fact the lead machinist on the Extreme Ultraviolet Explorer, which is a space telescope that launched in 92. So for full biographies, please visit my site, mellow3rd.com. <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, when the video is finished, please go to mellow3rd.com. That's my personal site that I'm using to coordinate the fundraising. There you'll find links to three years' worth of blogging, uh, where you can find the blood, sweat, and tears of the team, plus all the innovation and triumph that we've come through. Uh, you'll also find, importantly, links, uh, external links to external websites proving that our team members are, in fact, real people. We didn't just make us up. Um, you'll find photos and media and a whole bunch of neat stuff like that. Uh, and even more importantly, you'll find links to articles in newspapers and magazines that spotlight our project. Uh, most prominently, a, a recent spotlight in Business Week uh, about what we're doing. So yes, we are for real. The great thing is, yes you can. Because this whole thing is an experiment in microfunding. So, when our lunar lander lands on the moon, it's going to deploy two beautiful gold-plated aluminum panels. They're going to tower above the lunar landscape for an eternity. Well, for at least for a really long time, for everybody to see. What we're offering is space on these two golden panels. We are offering 4 by 4 inches, that's 16 inches squared, for $1,000, and we're offering 1 by 1, 1 inch squared, for $100. But no one, there's no one on the moon. No one's going to see these things. Well, yes, that's true. They will remain on the moon until there's people there to see them, or they might even outlast humanity. You never know. They'll be on there for a long time, a monument to your help. But they'll also be featured quite internationally on Earth. They'll be pretty famous. Um, they'll be part of any media that this event gets covered in. 
They will be represented at any museum displays that this a model of our project gets put into. They'll be put into the book that we write about the entire experience and how our experiment in microfunding worked, hopefully. Um, and they'll also be prominently displayed at the launch party, which is going to be an incredible event that you will receive an invitation. So I'm traveling right now, so I can only use the most high-tech demonstration models in my presentation. Um, so I got this state-of-the-art display panel right here, where I drew a 4x4 four four inch square, and then I colored it in red with a sharpie. So this is the exact, this red area is the exact size of the 4x4 four four panel that you will have on the moon. I also drew the 1x1 one one inch model, uh, which is prominently displayed here, should you want to go that route. Now, the point is, 4x4 four four inches is a lot of space. I'm not expecting, expecting a flood of one person, $1,000 donations. Um, instead, we've brainstormed other uses for this space using uh, yellow paper. It's cut out in, again, 4x4 four four inch squares. It's yellow because it's going to be gold. Uh, it's pretty clever. Um, we have a few models here. So, this is a fireman's hat and an imaginary seal with a ladder. Uh, but this could be your company logo, this could be your group's symbol, this could be your family shield or your family crest. And as you see, it can be prominently and largely displayed, and there's still room down here for about 50 names engraved. Now, do you know 50 people with 20 bucks? Maybe. Do you know 20 people with 50 bucks? Very likely. Do you know 10 people with 100 bucks? The point is, you can all have your space on here, and you can still get across whatever you would like. Another demonstration. Here's a famous piece of art, or an engraving that you really like, or something that's prominently displayed in your museum. And as you can see, there's room for plenty of text around that. You can put sheet music on here. You can put poems, collection of stories. It depends on how big you want to write. But even if you write large enough for legibility, <laughs> that's a lot of stuff you can fit on a 4x4 four four inch panel. If you want to save this whale, there's plenty of space for a scientific illustration, as well as a drawing of the planet Earth, where this whale used to be, as well as room for a deluge of knowledge from eating habits, how it started out, family species, all the way over to its untimely demise. But it won't be demised because this whale will forever be on the moon. Again, just another example of how to use 4x4 four four inches of space. Finally, we have a bigger than Polaroid, bigger than a Polaroid family portrait. Uh, we chose a nuclear family with a dog, but you can choose extended family, a family tree, whatever. Uh, and you can see that the whole family is prominently engraved on this yellow, golden piece of paper, moon panel. And there's still plenty of room down here for a great deal of text talking about the family, your hopes, your dreams, your ideals, your goals. We are, we're marketing towards small businesses, uh, families, amateur sports teams, real sports teams, clubs, local bars, your church group, interest groups, groups of friends, any type of group, really. So we need to raise $60,000 before the end of this month, before the end of December 2010. I know. But it's $60,000, but that means we only need to sell 60 of these 4x4 four four inch squares. And we have a hundred to offer, so feel free to buy them all if you so desire. And you're very much allowed to purchase more than one 4x4 four four inch square if you want to combine two and make a humongous piece of real estate on the moon. Um, and the way that we're receiving the funding is really neat. We put our project up on kickstarter.com. Now, if you haven't heard of this website, you should go check it out no matter what, um, kickstarter.com. They've been featured on NPR, Wired Magazine, and the New York Times and they are the largest fundraising platform for creative projects in the world. Tens of thousands of people pledge millions of dollars monthly to help start projects that are put on this website. Um, I would go check it out. There might be other projects there that you want to fund, or you might want to get funding for your own project, whether it be a CD launch or something crazy like landing on the moon. So we need to make the $60,000 all or nothing. So if we don't reach our goal, uh, you get your money back. That's how this incredible website works. And we like their credibility, so we will be using them in handling this.